Hello. I will present the case study applying feminist HCI to ultra personalization, the case of, of electric breast pumps. My name is Svetlana Mironchika, and co authors are your friends, Stefan Venswein, and we are from Eindhoven University of Technology. Shortly about the project and the contributions. We work on the ultra personalization of electric breast pumps. To find out what to personalize and why, we set up the study to understand how currently available breast pumps fit and misfit people who use them. Our work is informed by feminist values. We interviewed 11 lactating people and two lactation specialists. We found five dimensions and ten subdimensions of how electric pumps can fit a person. A meaningful combination of this dimension results in personal holistic fit, and we argue that designing for personal holistic fit corresponds to feminist values. Talking about the work in more details, we see more and more physical and wearable products that are made with the user's personal data by means of digital fabrication. This approach is called ultra-personalization. Most of ultra-personalized products are made with anthropometrical or body measurement data and result in products with anthropometric fit. Such fit offers better comfort, improved safety, personal health and well-being solutions, and personal aesthetics. Ultra-personalization is very needed for electric breast pumps. This technology is widely used and help many lactating people, but there are many known issues with breast pumps, such as comfort issue, pain, embarrassment with a loud sound, usability issues. So unmet needs go beyond anthropometric fit, and we wanted to find out how else can electric pumps fit a person. Our work is informed by feminist values of agency, empowerment, fulfillment, diversity, identity, and the self. So on one side, mass-produced electric pumps can be considered feminist technology. They expand person's mobility, increase choice in infant nutrition, empower people when breastfeeding is challenging. But at the same time, issues with breast pumps mean that feminist values are under undressed. So we set up a study to understand how currently available pumps, uh, electric pumps fit and misfit people who use them. In individual semi-structured interviews, we talked to 11 lactating people and two lactation specialists. We used reflective thematic analysis to analyze interview data. We found that participants talked about five fit dimensions and 10 sub-dimensions. The first groups uh, directly relates to the body. It is fit to the body geometry, dynamic fit when vacuum is applied, and positional, positional fit, meaning how well parts of pump are positioned on the body, as well as fit to felt sensations when the product is being used. Uh, some participants didn't have, exp didn't have experience of misfit for this dimension. Others had to find solutions to improve the fit. But one person said that the pain was so strong that she had to stop using pump and breastfeeding altogether much earlier than she wanted. So this experience is against the value of fulfillment to care for her child. Two other located people followed advice uh, from their nurses to endure pain while using the pump, well, instead of finding a better fitting solution. And this left them with a lack of agency. The second group relates to the use of electric pumps, uh, fit to context, social and physical, fit to routines that lactating people follow, and fit to other products that they already have. Uh, breast pumps are designed with one context in mind, office with a table, but in reality the context of possible use is much more diverse. For example, taxi drivers on a taxi stand. So this leaves people who use pumps in other than office context with less empowerment. The third group relates to the fit uh, to perception, perception through senses, perception of self, and mental fit. 
Both lactation specialists said that lactating people often perceive themselves as a cause, and such association is unpleasant for them and causes them stress. Of course, the price matters when choosing electric breast pumps, but more about that will be in the paper. Our participants talked about the services that they wished to have. Lactating specialists strongly advised to always first try the pump before buying it. Lactating people said they needed more guidance on the use of uh, pumps more effectively or to guide them to help. Uh, both lactation specialists stressed that the fit dimensions are interrelated, suggesting that there, are, there is a personal holistic fit. So, uh, we found that electric pumps uh, can be personalized to fit lactating person in five dimensions and ten subdimensions. A meaningful combination of these dimensions will result in pumps with a personal holistic fit uh, that will differ per person. And we believe that designing electric breast pumps uh, with personal holistic fit corresponds to feminist values. A future work can expand or detail proposed dimensions of a personal holistic fit. We suggest to gather more situated experiences with breast pumps that happen in different countries. Other participants come from five countries and four, from four continents, but they used the pumps being physically mostly in the Netherlands. So different country specific policies to parental leaves and rights May affect, may affect the overall breastfeeding and pumping journeys. Next, it is necessary to find what experts in breast pump design think of the proposed dimensions. Perhaps their perspective will help to develop further dimensions of a personal holistic fit. To conclude, we hope that this work will help to improve the design and experience uh, of using electric breast pumps, as many people rely on this technology in a very important part of their lives. Thank you.